Welcome to Zippity Zoo. That's the title of our book today. As you know, we're beginning a week learning all about zoo animals. Welcome to Zippity Zoo. So what do you think this book is going to be about? If you guess zoo animals, you are absolutely 100% correct. We're learning about zoo animals. Let's get started. Oh, the author of this story is Pam Schiller. And the illustrator, or maybe, I'm not sure, if Rochelle Bartkoliak is also an author or if, or if she is the illustrator, I don't know. We'll find out. I can see, though, that the illustrations are actually photographs. So maybe Miss Rochelle is the photographer. Who knows? Either way, this is definitely a collaboration between Pam Schiller and Rochelle Bartkowiak. That means they work together to make this story, to create this story for you guys. Welcome to Zippity Zoo. Sometimes reading big books is very awkward for me. So forgive me if I'm wiggling and jiggling around as I try to navigate through this book. Let's take a trip to Zippity Zoo so I can introduce my friends to you. There are lions and tigers and kangaroos, a rich variety that means a lot of stuff, from which to choose. You will see zebras zipped in stripes and mischievous monkeys of all types. Mischievous, if you're mischievous, you do some naughty things sometimes. Buzzing bees everywhere. Bears are napping without a care. If you want to learn who's at the zoo, then Zippity Zoo is the place for you. Welcome. There are some of these zoo animals, a kangaroo, a tiger, a lion. Boys and girls, I'm going to do something that we should never do, but I'm having a hard time. I'm going to kind of like fold my book. Shh, don't tell There are lemurs, orangutans, baboons, and monkeys swinging from branches and hanging in trees. Yes, we like to take good care of our books. And sometimes when you fold them, it puts a lot of wear and tear on them. But I'm being very careful. There are elegant giraffes with long legs and necks and colts of gold with giant brown specks. The zebras are certainly delightful to see sticking together under a tree. Remember our letter that we're learning about is Z. Z is for zebra, z, z, zebra. There's the long neck giraffe. We have owls, ducks, flamingos and eagles, eagle pride, along with peacocks looking quite regal. Regal, oh, that's royalty. Let's take a look at the photograph of this peacock. Can you see it? Oh, magnificent, right? 
Peacocks are quite regal. They're beautiful. Did you know that it's the male peacock that's the prettiest? Or I guess I should say most handsome since it's a male, right? Either way, quite regal. Mm -hmm. Lazy lions and tigers rest in the shade or head for the water to drink or to wade. Look at those lions. The lion is the king of the jungle. There's that tiger. Can you roar like a tiger? Roar! There are koalas and wallabies and red pandas too, munching on grass, eucalyptus, and bamboo. I'm hearing a lot of rhyming words in this story. Remember rhyming words are words that end the same but have different beginning sounds. That one must be a red panda munching on bamboo. I've never seen a red panda before. Have you? Oh, I made a rhyme. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. On warm, cozy rocks, you'll find iguanas and snakes while alligators and turtles Swim in the lakes. Ooh, look at that alligator. The turtle, the iguana. Oh, look at the snake. Polar bear, polar, black, and spectacle bears, all big and furry, no matter their color of hair, sit or stand outside their layers. Layers, what's that? Hmm, layers. That's another name for their homes. Bears live in layers whether they're caves, oh, a hollow tree, a rocky ledge, an ice float if it's a polar bear, I guess, huh? Lairs, that's another name for their home, where they, where they hide out. Look at those bears, look at that polar bear, and the black bear. Our smallest friends are the chipmunks and rabbits, groundhogs and meerkats and their funny habits. Look at them. And that teeny little chipmunk. And then there's the warthog. Well, he's quite a sight, a majestic beauty in his own right. The black rhino has a fierce reputation with thick skin and horns. He's quite a creation. The mighty elephants in our zoo tour, beckoning visit visitors to come back for more.
So now you know who's who at the zoo. I've enjoyed sharing Zippity with you. Such wondrous creatures, the big and the small, the furry, the slimy. Let us love them all. I really enjoyed this book and looking at all the beautiful photographs of the different zoo animals, the pink flamingos. Did you know flamingos are pink because they eat a lot of shrimp? Mm -hmm. That's what gives them their beautiful pink color. You take away all that shrimp that they eat, they'll turn white. Mm -hmm. There's the lion, the king of the jungle. There's that zigzag zebra. and the mighty elephant. What's your favorite zoo animal? Tell someone at your house, which animal is your favorite? And boys and girls, as you go throughout your day today, you can use your imagination and you can move like the animals move. You can make sounds like the animals make. And you can go on that virtual field trip to the zoo. I posted a video for you to watch. Until next time, see you later, alligator. Do you know what to say when someone says that to you? See you later, alligator. My dad used to say that to me all the time. He would say, see you later, alligator. Oh, let me say it in my dad voice. See you later, alligator. And I would say, after a while, crocodile. So if someone says to you, see you later, alligator, that's what you say. You say, after a while, crocodile. Until next time, see you later. This is Quarantine Learning with Mrs. Harrell.